need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. When you select the Smudge tool from the toolbox and click and drag it in your image, the effect produced is similar to the effect of dragging your finger through wet paint. The tool actually picks up the color of the place at which you click and then pushes that color through the rest of the stroke as you drag your mouse. To use this, first select the Smudge tool from the toolbox. It's located right over here. We'll right click. It shares a spot with the Blur and the Sharpen tool. Give it a click. Then up in the options bar, set the brush stroke and other brush options as desired. So we'll go ahead and increase the size of our brush that we're going to use here. We'll go a little larger so we can really kind of get a good feel for this effect. You can then select a blending mode and a strength from the drop down and the slider available to you. You can also check the Sample All Layers, which is called All Layers in CS and previous versions, to select using the combined color value from all the layers. If unchecked, it will only smudge the color from the currently visible layer. In this case, we only have our background layer, so we don't need to worry about that. You can check the Finger Painting checkbox located right here to smudge using the selected foreground color at the beginning of each stroke. If it's deselected, the tool will instead use the color under the pointer at the beginning of the stroke. So we'll deselect that. After setting your options, all you must do is then click and drag in the image to smudge the paint where you click and drag. Kind of see what that does. It's kind of a cool effect. That's all there is to using the smudge tool. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.